Taking it off in three, two, one. Checkpoint two. So now, since your winds aren't lined up, right? Okay, so that's an easy fix, right? So now you're going to have a side wind. Start turning left instead of right. And nav T commit. See if that makes our winds better. So I think the exercise went very well. We got a lot of good time in the class, learning the ins and outs using drones, and the practical application we've had uh, has been great, getting hands-on with it. Everyone's become proficient with it, and everyone seems to be able to use it very well. 
So the exercise today has helped familiarize us with uh, the usage of drones in our day-to-day -day operations from patrolling, reconnaissance, and combat operations. It's allowed us to be able to become more intelligent in the use of gathering intel on enemy positions, the terrain, and the general purpose of our mission. So I think this program really helps diversify the effectiveness of our troops uh, in the Marine Corps. It opens up everyone's eyes to be able to think differently, be effective in different ways that we have never really been able to before. So the purpose of the drone is to be able to gather intel in the battlefield for reconnaissance missions, patrolling, and to be able to give our troops an insight of how we can be more efficient during our missions and to be able to successfully accomplish all tasks that are given to us. Well, this exercise, as far as it's been briefed to me, is to introduce the Marine Corps to multiple UAS systems to be used in the future as part of a much bigger plan. And that's my understanding of this exercise is take a basic Marine from an infantry unit, get him into UAVs, this one being a weaponized UAV, and then proceed you know, in the future with that technology. I think it went excellent this week. The six Marines that we have as students are absolutely outstanding. These guys are motivated, they're very intelligent, and they're willing to learn. So I can't be any more pleased with how this week has been going so far. Definitely impacts the lethality and the proficiency of the unit for many reasons. One, now they have a system that they can fly beyond line of sight and still engage targets when normally they would have to rely on older systems. Could it be mortars and it could be other systems. Now they have a system that can go beyond visual line of sight and still engage targets on the battlefield. That's an excellent capability. I've been seeing the Marine Corps move forward this past year of getting into the field of tech. They are pushing now more tech, tech being swarm technology, different UAS systems that we have here. Those are all a benefit to the Marine Corps, and I say that they're only going to be used once the Marine Corps understands how to integrate all these systems together, they're going to be much, much more capable. So this drone is a hand-launched drone uh, from a launch tube. It's a very small tube. The guys can uh, launch the weapon in response to any target out to beyond visual line of sight range. So this thing can go pretty far. Meanwhile, the Marine is safe or in a relatively safe area while he's engaging a target. To me, that's probably the best part about getting this weapon is it still keeps the Marine safe while he's able to engage targets that are a threat to him or other forces.